It's neighborhood tour time. Today we are going to take a tour of Burnt Store Marina. Yo, I'm Adrian, longtime Florida realtor, and I'm here to help you get your Florida life. Happy Wednesday, everyone. If you're new here, new videos come out every Wednesday. Today we are doing the next installment in my neighborhood tour playlist and we are headed to Burnt Store Marina. There is a lot to cover in the marina, so let's get started. The marina is a gated community located at the southernmost point of Punta Gorda. It's technically in Lee County, whereas most of Punta Gorda is in Charlotte. That does mean you get some of your utilities from Lee County in the marina. I don't think it makes much of a difference though. It's about 15 to 20 minutes from downtown Punta Gorda. The closest grocery store is about seven minutes. If you go 15 minutes or so south, you hit Mat Lache and Pine Island, two other very interesting communities. Much of those areas were hit hard by Hurricane Ian in 2022. They are still working to recover, and I am excited to see them come back. As far as boating, there is wet and dry storage in the marina. Slip fees do apply. Boat storage does not come with a property. The boating is fantastic. You are at open water within minutes of getting on your boat, if not right there. In general, it's a boater's paradise. If you don't want to own a boat, the Freedom Boat Club also has docks there. The Freedom Boat Club is a membership club you can join and use one of their boats. There is a lot to do in the marina beyond boating. The marina boasts a 27-hole executive golf course, tennis courts, and pickleball. Throughout the community, there are walking trails and bike paths. Cascade Restaurant looks out onto the water. It has a huge outdoor deck, a sports bar, and room for big groups. There's a country club with the Linkside Cafe. The trading post is a deli with a little shop attached. They have food truck nights and endless events in the marina. It does tend to be one of our more seasonal communities, but generally there is a lot going on in the marina. It is a very social community. The gate does mean there are fees in the marina. Sometimes when you're looking online, the fees will be incorrect. However, we can get you the correct fees before you get serious about a property. There is often one fee to take care of the marina in general, and then another to take care of your complex or your area. There are some areas within the marina, like Prosperity Point, that are behind another gate. If it's behind another gate, there is another fee because each area needs to be maintained somehow. The marina tends to attract buyers who would rather be boating or out socializing than worried about home maintenance. And you do get a lot for these fees. It is beautifully maintained in the marina. I have never gone in there and thought, oh, they're letting this slide. No, it looks amazing in there. If you are accustomed to luxury, you know you have to pay for it. And that's how it is in the marina. As far as real estate goes, there is something for everyone here, condos, villas, and single family homes. Some of the condos date back to the early 1980s, but you see much newer condos, high rises, and then some shorter ones with garages. You can find a variety here. Even some of the single family homes are actually land condos. These can be great if you like your landscaping completely managed for you. Currently in April of 2024, the median price of a single family home is 568,000. To give some perspective, the median price of a single family home in 33955, which is the zip code that the marina is in, in that zip code, the median price is currently $459,000. The median price of a condo in the marina is $425,000. The vast majority of condos in 33955 are actually in the marina.
If you'd like more information on Bird Storm Arena, I'd love to help. My contact information is below this video in the description. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next week.